Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to revisit gouache in the sketchbook doodles video because I feel like in terms of previous sketchbook doodles videos or just like Monday's videos in general, I haven't used gouache in a while and there's kind of a reason for it. Um, I feel like I need to reteach myself again how to use gouache because I haven't used it in a while. Well, I guess that's a lie. I've I've used it, but I haven't been very patient with it recently. Therefore, I've been rushing things and making stupid mistakes that I know would prevent me from trying to finish a painting with gouache, which is why I'm actually going to take my time and paint today. You'll see that I, at some point, get a little bit overly detailed with some things before I get to the gouache. So. This is kind of like me trying to remedy myself from hating the drawing like right off the bat. I had a drawing of Masaki in my sketchbook that I actually really liked the sketch of, but as soon as I started putting down the gouache, it looked horrendous. So we'll see where this goes. Um, for Oh, I didn't really mention what I'm drawing or who I'm drawing. So I'm drawing my OC Sato, who is Masaki's cousin. She is the... I guess she's going to inherit her parents' sweet shop or confectionery store. Um, She's not like super big fan of sweets. She's definitely more like a savory type of person, but she enjoys making sweets and um, gifting them to others. And Masaki and Koji are both people who really like adore sweets. So she finds joy in giving them a lot of like the candies or like baked goods and like all this stuff that she makes from there um, to them. And they always test out like recipes and stuff for her. Um, so she's like 18. I believe I kind of made her like either a senior in high school or she just graduated high school so she can focus on working or attending like post-secondary or something. I haven't fleshed out any part of their story or anything but that's kind of like the premise. So I definitely made the sketch like the pencil sketch a little bit more detailed than I was planning to because I could like I could have definitely made this just a pencil sketch and I could have just like rendered with pencil but I knew I wanted to add color because I was browsing on Pinterest ooh okay let me talk about this first um my camera settings are a little weird so her skin looks a little neon with the orange it's not like that and it won't be like that after I put down the gouache so it won't remain like this but the intensity on my camera made it look really almost fluorescently weird for the skin so apologies about that i didn't realize how high my saturation was up on my webcam probably because i was trying to film an ipad video earlier um what was i talking about the sketch so i think i was trying to prevent myself from hating the sketch right off the bat so i was putting a lot of detail i did miss some things like i didn't continue her jaw right up until her ear so her ear looks like it's floating up there because it's not connected to her like face really and i kind of cut it off with her hair so it looks kind of weird and i forget to correct it so apologies if that bothers anybody um but then when i started doing the watercolor i was being a little bit more precious with it as well you could have probably told like you probably could tell by the way i did the eyes and the skin right off the bat but then i remembered that i wanted to paint this with gouache so as you can see when i was doing the clothing i kind of just threw down the washes and didn't really care um because initially i was trying to avoid that weird um, pilling texture but usually happens when I apply a lot of water but it doesn't exactly lift up a lot of the fibers so I'm still not sure exactly what causes it it mostly happens when I put darker colors down um, but yeah um, I just put a lot more detail into the sketch and a little bit of the watercolor where I was trying to focus a little bit on the lighting and the shadow a little bit I did very simple lighting because I did not think about doing lighting when I was first painting it, so I didn't really establish it very well. Um, but yeah, I I just wanted to have fun painting with gouache, and I know for me, I need to kind of set the foundation for everything first. So I like to apply watercolor first to know what color goes where, as well as kind of priming the paper a little bit, because after I apply watercolor, it does have a little bit of a slight, almost like a tooth, or like a little bit of a texture that I can allow the gouache to kind of adhere onto. And now that I switched to the gouache, I forgot to show you guys my gouache set. So I'll just make sure to put a little flag for you guys to know that I am using the gouache set right now. Um, 
But yeah, I just noticed that while I was working, her face got quite patchy from the color that I mixed. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of touch-ups on her face. But also when I was painting, I kind of botched up her face shape. And it didn't help but because I didn't bring up that jaw all the way up to her ear. Her face looks oddly too stretched to the left. So it looks a little weird. Um, but I hope I correct most of the stuff other than not connecting her ear to the rest of her face. Um, but I guess like for the most part, I actually had a lot of fun painting this. It was a little bit frustrating because I think I struggled to get the right consistency again. But then I think I found how I like to work with gouache again. And then when I started working on her eye and her hair, I remember why I liked gouache and it can become very fun when you start to add other colors or being able to pull those highlights back out or deepen shadows much easier. So that's, that's really fun. I am kind of more excited to do some planning in my sketchbook. So I haven't been using my sketchbook as much lately. And I think I've already talked about this because I've been working mostly with digital stuff recently and because they have deadlines, I haven't had time to just sketch for fun. And I would like to return back to that very soon. I have think, like, I think I only have one more deadline. Um, and then after that, I am pretty much free other than packing your guys' orders, which I am very, 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 very thankful for um, that a lot of you guys really enjoyed the store update. I am letting the packages get shipped out, or at least the first batch of packages get shipped out today. And then the rest will be at a little bit later in the week um, because I'm waiting on photo paper so I can print your guys' prints on more um, thicker, higher quality paper. Because I just ran out and like everywhere I'm checking is like sold out of the paper. Um, yeah, I would like to return back to doing more traditional work though. I want to continue my Archon series with the Genshin characters. Like I did Venti and I did Zhongli and they kind of have this Alphonse Muka kind of esque design and um, layout to the painting. I, and I really want to do one for, I don't know what you want to call her, A ball, the Sh Raigun Shogun, I'm, I don't know, like I would like to do one for hers, but I need to do some testing because I don't think I want to do the inking prior, even though I feel like the lines are very important if you're trying to do more of um, Art Nouveau, especially because it has like a lot of those like decorative elements and like patterning and like details so we'll see how i approach it because i feel like i enjoy painting without the restrictions of lines like i said before so maybe i'll just return back to that and just make hers not match zhongli's and venti's and maybe i'll return back to paint zhongli and venti's a bit differently because i i'm not too sure if i like the composition of them anymore or the like the line work so maybe i'll come back and redo them in the future or make a new series, I don't know. I would really love to paint them with flowers, but I have no, like, that's already, that's already a thing <laughs> that people have already done. But we'll, we'll see, because it'd be nice to get back into painting a little bit more because I'm definitely rusty, very rusty. I was painting gifts for a few friends and like mutuals um, that ordered from my store and i realized how rusty i am and i apologize if you receive like a painting or a print or a sketch or something from me and you're one of my my moots on instagram um if you if you do get it and i butchered your oc I, i'm terribly sorry um what else is there to talk about oh that was uh i was worried about sato's hair so i keep flip-flopping between sato's hair i've done this as well with um masaki and koji masaki's hair color is kind of like already finalized and like there's a specific way i like to color it because it matches his um apron just because it helps with his overall color scheme um but koji he had more of a how to explain this bronzy ish or not even bronze, it's like almost gold because it has a little bit of like green tint to it, like an almost an olive color. But then I switched him to completely blonde, which I'm kind of regret. So I might switch him back to have a little bit of that green tinge because I don't want him. Well, I mean, it's not bad because his color scheme overall is kind of like primary colors, which kind of looks cute. But then for Sato's, her hair is kind of like a peach color. And initially I had it more towards like a peachy pink color 
but I think I prefer her hair to be a little bit more on the orangey side. I don't know, but then her skin tone. I feel like I need to put some difference somewhere. I might either really lighten up her hair and push it towards pink, or we'll go with the orangey color and then I'll just have to deepen up the shadows and stuff to make sure it's kind of like, hmm, how to explain this? I don't know, I really do like the colors peach and kind of like either navy or like a like a turquoise almost. Like it's almost like a darker version of Masaki's shirt color, but then I'm lightening the hair color to be orange instead of brown. Like her, her, her color scheme is kind of similar to how I approached Masaki's color scheme, um, where her hair is a lot warmer and then her outfits tend to be on like the cooler side. Um, definitely leaning towards like navy blues, royal blues, and like all that jazz. I just really liked um, painting her with like blue colors and stuff. Last thing I'm going to touch on is that I found pictures on Pinterest where there's these, I don't know, they're just fashion photos, I guess, from magazines and stuff. and. The models were wearing, like a lot of them were wearing like cropped tank tops or like spaghetti strap kind of shirts. And then they have kind of like a big puffy cardigan and I thought it looked really cute. And I like the, um, the colors that some of them have. Some of them have more like the cashmere, almost um, tan colored, um, what is it called? Cardigan over top of like black, which looked really cute or white. And then I found one that had more of a lighter blue color, like almost like a denim color. And then over top, she had like a navy um, blue cardigan over top, which I decided to put Sato in. And Sato is very much like, I don't know. I draw her a lot with like crop tops or like just full on sleeveless. So yeah, but I really like drawing my OCs and like sweaters and stuff. So I always put them with some kind of jacket or sweater. And I feel like Sato's the type to wear more like jackets. I've always drawn her with more of like sportier looks in the past as well. But she also wears a lot of girly clothing, like longer skirts, shorter skirts, like just dresses and stuff. And it's just fun to draw her, but I don't draw her enough. So I'll try to pull more OC videos in the future because I would like to draw my OCs a little bit more so you can flesh, I can flesh them out a little bit more and then you guys get to know more about my OCs. But yeah, I still have three minutes to fill. Wow, I thought I was gonna ramble a lot longer. Um. But yeah, I feel like for the sweater, it really helped for me to put a lot of the darker areas in so I could push the lighter areas out more. I do like how I did her sleeve though, like the one with the hand covering um, the arm because I like being able to almost get like a graphic highlight on the sleeve to indicate like the little ridges, a little bit of the folds and stuff. I always think it's fun. I feel like I always struggle with painting clothes with gouache because when I paint it like digitally, I've always do a, like a back and forth, but I feel like for gouache, I'm a little bit lazy, but it's the closest thing that I can get to actually painting similarly to digitally because I do have the opportunity to layer in such a way to get like lighter colors, darker colors, and like getting these weird colors to pop on certain areas, which watercolor, it's like a little iffy because as soon as you push something too dark, it's hard to bring back that lightness. Um, I'm kind of refixing her hair because it didn't really make sense and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I would like to paint my OCs more in the future. I know I think Koji's probably the most neglected at this point, so I'll definitely revisit him again. I've been drawing Sato the most in my sketchbook, I think, other than Masaki obviously, but Sato a little bit more because I've been drawing more like I've been, I've been browsing on Pinterest and looking up at like um, outfits and stuff and I always put Sato in them so I can learn how to draw more cute outfits because I suck at fashion so um, I always have to use reference. But hope you guys enjoyed watching me draw my OC Sato and watching me kind of go back and forth on fixing the hair, choosing colors, like changing that eye so many dang times and I still don't like it. First of all, it's not... It's not a good shape. I can see little like wobbly wibbly lines on it and it kind of looks weird but I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video and I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!